Hey YouTubers, Collector 777 here with my latest haul video. This video consists of all the goodies that I've found throughout the past few weeks uh, in terms of um, all the stuff that I collect, video games, um, let's see, comic books, and autograph items. So um, let me go ahead and get started with the footage that I have for you guys. So I just finished up with that garage sale right there and got a pretty awesome score for 20 bucks. Um, it's inside this uh, sandwich cardboard here. Let's see if I could get it. Here's a little preview. This was cool. This is an added bonus. Um, nice autograph of uh, Jerry Rice to Sherry. Um, but there, oops, there's a little preview of what's to come. Probably uh, my best pictured autograph to date. And that is of Michael Jordan. There it is. I mean, the Sharpie back in the 90s uh, wasn't as strong as the ones that are out now, but that is a pretty awesome score for 20 bucks. So I just picked this up for 15 bucks, I believe. Pretty awesome score. Complete. The box is in great shape. Great addition to the collection. Oh, by the way, I'm at the, currently at the Modesto Flea Market. Forgot to add that. But yeah. Pretty cool pickup. Alright, so I just finished up with the Modesto flea market here. Got a few goodies. You guys saw earlier the 2600 Atari complete in box that I picked up earlier. Um, also got this figure for a dollar, Batman Beyond from uh, 2000. Uh, got, let me see, I'll go start off with the, the action figure since I went with the Batman Beyond. Um, picked this lot up for 10 bucks, I believe. Um, this Shira figure with their pink what is that a lion um i believe i forgot which cartoon this guy is from it could be thundercats if i remember correctly um donatello from the 80s uh, squishy head so it's the first uh release I also got the i think it's michelangelo's um little hover skateboard here Got three mask figurines, um, two Battle Beasts original. These are pretty pricey. Uh, two original Ewoks from the early 80s. And oh, I also got this guy from the mask. Just found them. So there was four. Um, I got two Hot Wheels Crackums in pretty decent shape and one um i forgot what these are called the ones that um tip over what else what else oh, i think yeah onto the video gaming items i got this for uh five bucks i believe the blue game gear um he wanted 10 but i, I used the strategy of um you know does he does he know if it works or not since he didn't have batteries so I told him um, that I'll risk it for five, so he sold it to me for five. Got these for two bucks each, PlayStation 1 games, uh, South Park Chef Love Shack complete, as well as the first Rayman. And oh, the Game Gear did come with a game as well, uh, Chicago Syndicate, along with uh, Lion King, which was in it. And this was buried along with the toys i got it for five bucks it's the uh light blue uh game boy sp don't know if it works but this is a bit pricey even though um it's all scratched up like this due to the brighter screen but for five bucks i'll risk it so yeah um pretty awesome haul so i just left the goodwill by my work and picked up some goodies here uh for what is that $5.99 I got this bag of uh, girly Legos uh, small kind there's some mini figs in there which I'm gonna snag up and this was pretty awesome here this bag of GI Joe's for $3.99 which I will go over later on in the video all right so here are the Joe's from that bunch that I picked up on Google for four bucks and to be honest with you I do not recognize any of them I know the old school ones from the first series but these guys are not ringing any bells for me. 
but for nine GI Joes for four bucks, it's a pretty awesome deal. So I just left the sale here and picked up some pretty good stuff uh, for 12 bucks. Uh, she threw in this uh, gold edition Super Nintendo with a nice spider sticker there. That was for free. Um, got two jerseys here. Tony Parker's uh, Spurs. These are uh, stitched, so they're good kind. And I believe these are the Flyers. I'm not too... Uh, familiar with my NHL stuff so I apologize um, but yeah I believe that's the Flyers and awesome games here uh, for the GameCube we got the Sims Sims Bustin' Out Naruto Clash of Ninja Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles and probably the best one of the bunch Super Mario Sunshine also picked up this uh, DVD anime here so pretty awesome score for 12 bucks Alright, so I just left the outlet thrift store here in Stockton, California. Picked up some goodies. Got this for 99 cents. Got a Koopa plush. Um, this bag of um, looks like old school Jurassic Park Lost World um, diecast figurines. This was $2.98. And probably the best one out of the bunch was this Game Boy game here for $4.98. This Pokemon Yellow, so uh, pretty awesome score. Alright, so I just left the Wilson Way flea market here and for 15 bucks found a goodie. Um, last row uh, <laughs> before I was going to head uh, over uh, home and I picked up for 15 bucks a complete Nintendo system. So that was a, a surprise find here. I was losing hope and uh, for 15 bucks, pretty awesome deal. Alright, so I just left Superior Thrift here in Stockton, California. Picked up three PlayStation 1 games complete. Or um, all of them are complete. First off, I got uh, for $2.99 Duke Nukem. Uh, Total Meltdown. Sorry, the glare. Didn't be able, couldn't read it. Uh, Mortal Kombat 4. And this one was pretty cool. Crappy game, but pretty cool to see it sealed. Uh, Disney's Dinosaur for $2.99. So, pretty cool pickups for three bucks each. 
can also snag this PS2 system. Uh, missing the AV cords, but it does have the power cable for uh, $3.99. And uh, the controller, unfortunately, wasn't a bundle, but the controller was $0.99. Cents. So, um, pretty good deal for 5 bucks. Or here and uh, you guys saw the footage on the two ps2s when I took it to the front they said there was additional um, parts that went with it so uh, one had two controllers and all the trimmings and some memory cards and the other one had this case with uh, just the power cord and AV cable so pretty awesome score for seven dollars for one and ten bucks for the other So I just left Big Valley Thrift here and picked up some uh, Nintendo goodness for the DS, $1.99, Trauma Center Under the Knife. I believe this is complete, so not bad for two bucks. For, how much was this one? $6.99, I got a Glacier White Game Boy Advance with uh, the battery cover there. And for $9.99, I picked up a black Game Boy Pocket with the back as well. So, so pretty good haul. So I just left Big Valley Thrift and picked up two goodies. First one for the PS3 for $2.99. Got Little Big Planet 2 complete. And the best one for $20. Bucks and I had a... Um, 10% off coupon this EA Sports Edition PSP I did not have this version so pretty awesome score for uh, what 10 bucks just finished up with the offer up meetup and for 25 bucks I scored a pretty cool um, SP model or Nintendo version here I needed this from my collection got a little bit of scratches on top but these usually go for a hundred bucks online, so it came with the charger. But so yeah, pretty cool score for twenty five bucks. So yeah, there's a lot of goodies that I picked up again. Um, it's kind of hard um, gathering or losing track of all the footage that you put together, and then um, trying to minimize it so the video is not that long. Uh, but I did have um, some items here that I didn't have footage on. Um, did an offer up meetup. And I picked this up for, I believe it was uh, $25 total. Um, comic book items and a, a video game. First off, I got uh, A Man Called Nova. First appearance of Nova, number one. Pretty cool. I'm sure a movie of that is going to be out soon. Also got um, X-Men number, or the Uncanny X-Men number 244. First appearance of Jubilee. It's marked at 30, but uh, bundled it up for me. And for the Super Nintendo, this one I did not have uh, Doom. <clears throat> so happy to add this to my collection. Um, these, I believe, is a mixture of uh, probably garage sales and Goodwill, I believe. Uh, so in terms of Goodwill for the Wii. I got this for 99 cents. Attack of the Movies 3D. This one is complete. Um, at a garage sale for the PS2, I got Capcom Fighting Evolution. Pretty cool. Disc only from a garage sale uh, for the Dreamcast Dead or Alive 2. For the PlayStation 1, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. I believe I picked these two up for a dollar each. Um, and the four games here remaining are for the PS3. I got Dynasty Warriors, Bioshock, uh, Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion, Game of the Year Edition, and Metal Gear Solid 4, still sealed. 
I believe I paid. If I had to guess, ten dollars for this, the four of these. Um, but I forgot. Um, and last but not least, I have this box of goodness here. Which um, backstory is I saw a Craigslist ad of somebody having um, comic books. She said it was in the storage, um, but she said that I, I could get first dibs if I go out and help her um, bring them out. <clears throat> the thing is, um, I cleared out pretty much all her storage, um, and she did not have them. She was afraid that whoever the movers were might have uh, uh, stolen them, so it's a shame. But I did manage some, uh, to pick up some goodies here. They're... Um, are a few comic book items <clears throat> that I that I managed to snag, uh, but um, she said that the comics that she had uh, were seven banana boxes, which is a lot. And she said she had some twelve centers, so um, I did give her my my information, my phone number, so she could contact me. Um, hopefully, when she finds them. But let me go ahead and go over the items that I picked up from her. Um, some of the stuff I thought was pretty cool. Alright, so this is in no particular order. I'm just going to go ahead and pull out whatever uh, is closest here. Uh, first off, I got this. I, I paid, um, I believe, $50, $50 for this whole box. Um, she said uh, she knew how much they kind of went for. But um, since I helped her uh, move the stuff out of her store, she gave me a good deal. Which I, I felt was a, a pretty um, fair deal. So, first off, I got this SimCity 2000. That is still sealed and as you can see it's autographed by the developers it's what's cool about it is they actually autographed it inside the shrink wrap so the autograph is, is safe got that <clears throat> um this was pretty neat the hallmark keepsake spider-man this is going to go on our christmas tree this year um <clears throat> some autograph goodness uh, it was just like a, a random bunch of stuff that I collect. Uh, autograph 8x10 of Troy Aikman, Dallas Cowboys, or former Dallas Cowboys uh, quarterback. Let's see. Got some. <clears throat> Got some Star Trek um, autos. Uh, here's one of Odo from Deep, Deep Space Nine. You see there's the autograph on the card. Um, some of these actors or actresses I'm not familiar with, so I'm just going to show them. Got this one, because I'm more of a Star Wars than a Star Trek fan, but I thought these are pretty cool. I believe this is Jonathan Frank. You see, Ron owned it before. Vulcan, this guy I know. There's the auto. And I believe the last one in terms of um, picture autographs is this. And this one was probably the best uh, autograph item in the bunch. Uh, this Star Trek Resurrection screenplay or manuscript. That's autograph. I still have to figure out who that autograph is. It's like you see, it says, it says it states there, second draft, January 8th, 1996. It's a complete manuscript, so that was pretty cool. Um, got these um, old school cells, and I think they're from the 90s. Um, there's Human Torch. I've got all the Iron Man guys there. I think, yeah, that's a regular scroll. There's a few more in there, but they're pretty much the same duplicates. So that was pretty neat. Um, this was pretty cool to see in there as well. It looks like it's circa 90s because of the hologram. Limited edition Francetta cards. Let's see if I could get this out without them falling out so there they are oops 
pretty cool. And I was including the bunch. And this one I was stoked to see as well. Uh, from the 90s, I believe. Spider-Man number one. Which is um, signed by Todd McFarlane in gold ink there. That was neat. I believe, yeah, there's a cert as well. But, you know, anybody could photocopy that. But I'm pretty familiar with Todd McFarlane's signature. And I'm pretty sure that's legit. Um, so those are the comic book items. Now, in terms of the video gaming items, there are some video game stuff there too. I got, uh, in terms of guidebooks, got official Donkey Kong 64, Mario Party 2, um, let's see, now the rest are video games, I'll start off with the Sega items, um, two 32X items complete in box, we got Virtual Racing Result, uh, Deluxe, And Virtual Fighter boxes is a little bit bent down, but probably straighten them out. Um, for the Genesis, we got Beauty and the Beast, Roar of the Beast, Maximum Carnage. I don't think I have this one for the Genesis. And Alien Storm. So pretty cool. Uh, Nintendo 64 items. I got uh, yep, first party. I think this is a memory card. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, Game Shark. And three games. We have Star Wars Episode One Racer. Star Wars Rogue Squadron and Black Cart Nuclear Strike. And last but not least, I got uh, one of those clear, I forgot what they're called, uh, the line, but um, it's a clear brick Game Boy. It's missing the front faceplate there, but it works great. And one game which is Tetris Attack. So yeah, that was a pretty significant haulage um, throughout the past few weeks. And as always, happy hunting, and thank you so much for watching.